Disgraceful. Let me just say that. Disgraceful. The first match back after the restart. 100 days plus, no Premier League football. And the first match back, there's drama, there's controversy again. First match. Not even the 10th match back. The first match. Villa versus Sheffield. Villa reeling at the bottom. 19th right now. Sheffield are currently, I think they're 6th right now. They're above Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur. You know, that's just a little joke. That's just a little joke. You know, I shouldn't have even put that joke in there, but bad joke. Bad joke. But anyway, Sheffield United have been playing well this season. And maybe they should have picked up a win in this game because Oliver Norwood had scored from a, a free kick where Nealon, you know, he caught the ball but ended up in the back of the net. You know, a little mix up between him and Keenan Davis. Big striker there and Nealon ended up in the back of the net. Since then, the company that, you know, the tech, that you know, oversees the technology behind goal line technology, Hawkeye, and I've also seen Hawkeye in cricket. They have cameras around the stands that actually, you know, picks up all, you know, the images and all the action and it determines if the ball goes over the line or not, whether it's just by a hair, you know, a few centimeters, they still pick it up. They weren't able to pick anything up today. That was a show goal. You could see Nealon's face. He was like, oh my God, did anybody see that? He came out and bam, it was still nil-nil. Sheffield United weren't given the goal. The match finished nil-nil. They could have picked up three points. They only picked up one point. I'm just saying, because look, look. Sheffield could have scored. Or Aston Villa could have gotten an equalizer. You know, gone ahead. But I'm just saying, that didn't happen. Let's talk about what actually happened. That should have been a goal, but... Goal line technology failed. The cameras didn't pick it up with the Hawkeye technology. The referees watch. You see the watch right here? It didn't buzz. So Michael Oliver had all right not to give a goal. He didn't see anything. But, but, VAR should have stepped in. The people who are overseeing VAR should have stepped in and said, Hey, ho, ho, whoa, whoa, wait a minute here. Wait a minute here. This, this thing ain't right. Nealon is in the goal. This is a goal. I know you didn't get a notification from your linesman or even from goal line technology that the ball went over the line, but we have seen it and we are going to step in a water goal. That did not happen. That didn't happen. So Sheffield United must feel really aggrieved if they end up, let's say, missing out on European football, let's say Champions League. Who knows? Who knows? Let's say they miss out on Champions League. Because they miss out on placing fifth. Because, you know, guys, City could miss out on, you know, Champions League football through their ban and the fifth place team could get. What if that happened to Sheffield and they miss out by two points? You could, you could, you know what I mean? You could double back to this game and you'd be like, you see that? Hawkeye, man. The technology failed. And this is the first time this has happened, they said, in over 9,000 games where the technology have been used. So it's an anomaly. It's an anomaly. And it happened in the first match after the restart. So, ah oh man, drama, 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 drama. Another big controversial moment in the Premier League. I know. We, we're sick of it. We're sick of it. They have all this technology to make things better. It's basically making things worse. So if you are a Sheffield United fan, you must feel gutted right now that you weren't able to pick up that win. Sheffield has been great this season. Better than Arsenal, better than Tottenham Hotspur this season. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I'm going to rub it in. But they deserve the win and not a draw. But you know what? Sometimes Aston Villa, you know what I mean? The fans must say, the players must be like, yo, sometimes you need a little bit of luck on your side. <laughs> you know what I mean? But guys, I'm going to go back to catch a City-Arsenal game. You know what I mean? It's halftime, City 1-0 up. I just chose to take this time to touch on that subject matter. Before I actually forget, you know what I mean? There's a lot to cover these days. But guys, I'm your boy, Dominic Rich. Let me know your thoughts on this matter in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Head on over to cardsplug.com slash Dominic Rich FC. Get yourself one of those lovely cards. Use the coupon code Dominic Rich FC to get yourself 15% off. So, until my next video, I, I gotta catch a game. Peace out, Rich Squad.